so hi guys how you doing let me just show you that this installation has completed as you can see it's installed a whole lot of things into our system and it's installed it inside a folder which we have to go into and the folder's name is laravel qr code admin so i'm going to highlight it and copy it by pressing ctrl c on my keyboard and uh, now i've copied it i can now type cd cd means change directory then ctrl v to paste and then enter we are now inside this directory so let us um, open this directory and see what is inside i'll type start if you're in windows this is how to open a directory start then you put a, a full stop you see that period icon then you press enter it will now open this directory all right so this directory is open now to show you that our complete laravel application is installed all right now uh the next thing we're going to do is to run it just to see that it's correctly installed of course if this is the first time if this this if this is not the first time you're installing a laravel app you understand this process but if this is your first time um that is why i'm just making this uh taking this process so you do php artisan serve i'm doing this for those people that are uh, installing and setting up laravel for the first time so um once you do this it is going to spin up a server then we'll go to our browser to check it out and then when we check it out we'll see that this app is running okay our server is now running it's running at 127.0.0.1 and um, 8000 so this number is the same thing as localhost so if we come here uh, just open a new tab in our browser and uh, type localhost with co colon 8000 that is localhost colon 8000 and press enter. It's the same thing as typing 127.0.0.1 8000. So, so it looks like something went wrong. Of course, uh, the whole setup is not complete, but at least if this error is throwing up, it means that our Laravel is there. So, a number of things have to be fixed. For instance, we need to run this application PHP Artisan Key Generate. So, I'm going to exit this server. To exit a running server you press um ctrl c but um in when you're building a laravel app especially me um i don't like i like to leave my server running on one command prompt while running another one so i'm going to right click check this out um this is my my command prompt i'll right click on it here right click it's it's going to show me this i'll click on this and then um, it opens a new command window right now our next challenge is to navigate into this folder so i'll just copy this i'll press i'll highlight this press ctrl c once if you press it twice it will exit the server to exit the server you press ctrl c all right so here i'm gonna do cd what we did before right click oops qr code admin so right click that is cd right click so that what we copy will paste and we hit enter okay so we have this window running our server and we're good with it our next window um is gonna focus on the rest of the commands we want to run so now we need to generate a, a key for our, our app just to show you what i'm trying to do i'll right click on an empty space and open with vs code now if you don't have vs code or you don't know what it is it's an editor an editor like netbeans uh, like a newsfeed PHP editor, like PHP Storm. So depending on what you're using, which um, editor you're using, you could easily um, um, just open this project in the editor. Now, in case you're not using anyone, uh, just go to the internet and type download VS Code. It's owned by Microsoft. That that VS Code stands for Visual Studio Code. You understand? You can use it to write your HTML, CSS javascript php and a whole uh, lot of languages all right so you download it that's what i'm using it's not as if it's the best it's just it just happens to be on my system all right so um i've opened this folder in vs code as you can see the folders is the same thing now we can start looking at what i wanted to check i wanted to check on env this file you have to rename it all right click so what I'm walking you through is the process of setting up a Laravel app, fresh Laravel app. So I've right clicked to rename it. I now have to remove it, the example. Enter. And we're good. If you try to rename it from here, it will not work because Windows does not accept files that 
end with dot uh, some of these names that doesn't have a name you see these files don't have a name they, are, they just have start with a dot normally windows files are supposed to have a name then a dot then an extension like this one all right so when we click on this env file we can now look at what is inside i'll highlight this and then just for your viewing pleasure i'm going to um increase the font size i'll do um control on my keyboard then the plus sign i'll press it twice oh it's too much so minus control the minus sign then to reduce all right so this is the default it comes with as you can see these are just default settings as you can see here the app key is missing so we need to generate an app key now to, to do it you run this command php artisan key colon generate hit enter and the application key is generated if you look here now you see that the app application key now exists cool there are some other things here like the database details that were inserted by default uh we don't need it uh but let's go and refresh remember that there's an error here we we'll reload so that's it our larvae app is up once you can see the screen it means your larvae app is up i'm gonna stop this video here continue in the next video right thank you very much see you guys